Hello and welcome to my MQL5 series on artificial intelligence and neural networks. We're going to be breaking these videos up into about mm, maybe three or four parts because there's so much to cover. So we're going to come over here and we're going to create a new project or a new, um, new file here. We're going to go to include. We're going to call it WNN. And we are going to delete a lot of this stuff because it's unnecessary. There is uh, one include, and that is math slash stats slash normal because we're going to be using the normal distribution dot mqh we're going to compile that see if that works yep we're good so let's go to this uh, class class wnn we are going to have uh, protected variables protected and we're gonna have public variables I think this video we're only gonna be dealing with the weights so let's uh, create some matrices so matrix weight one matrix uh, weight two weight two matrix uh, we're also going to have a, uh, a memory cell so we one we're going to call it LSTM and that's going to be good and we're going to have our constructor the constructor is going to have a lot in it so WNN and we're going to have a string for these symbols symbol enum underscore time frames we're going to call, call that time frame frame int history underscore depth we're going to say int number of neurons hopefully I can spell <laughs> double and this, this is going to be the alpha or the training uh, training threshold alpha. okay we're also going to have a few functions that we're going to do in this video we're going to do the double <coughs> sigmoid double X we're going to do sigmoid underscore prime prime and then we're going also going to do an int SGN a lot of people may not know what this function is but basically what it does is if you give it a value um, it returns whether it's positive or negative so if the if it's positive it's one if it's negative it's negative one and that's really excellent um, we're going to void matrix and then random And then we're going to do matrix reference and and then we're also going to do it for the um, other ones. So sigmoid sigmoid mm. and then for sigmoid prime. Sigmoid Prime. 
I think this is all we have time for in this video. Let me scroll down and check. Yeah. <clears throat> so we need to implement, um, we're not going to do the constructor in this video, but we're going to do the sigmoid and everything down from that. So let's do double. Scope resolution operator, sigmoid, double, and then all we're going to do is return um, one divided by one plus math exp to the negative x. And then sigmoid prime has this guy here, and then this is power two. <clears throat> I think that's correct. It, the compiler might scream at me, but we'll hope to goodness that it's right. Um, sigmoid underscore prime. Now let's hit compile. Let's hope. Nope. We have a little bit of an error here. 48. Ah, yes. I forgot that. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. My apologies. Uh, I'm a little sick today, uh, but yes, um, Sigmoid Prime, everything's good. Now all we need to do is uh, these uh, last four functions, the SGN, and then the matrix random, matrix Sigmoid, matrix Sigmoid Prime. These are all pretty doable, so int WNN. These a lot of these are just definitional, so we're gonna say int int res if value greater than zero res equals one else res equals two sorry negative one what am I doing negative one return res there we go now the uh, matrix ones are a bit tricky but I think we can manage together if we pull through um, pull through together here so we're gonna say void void um, WNN matrix random <clears throat> and we're going to say there's going to be an int error that's for the distribution for u long r equals zero r less than 
m dot rows r plus plus and that's the first bracket for u long c c is less than m dot columns c plus plus And then we are going to say the matrix at row and column equals math random normal zero one error <clears throat> excellent that went really smooth that went really really smooth so I think all we have to do is the sigmoid prime and the sig matrix sigmoid prime and matrix sigmoid which are up here and that's gonna be all for this video for the first part and we're going to just copy and paste. Um, matrix random, matrix sigmoid. So it does return a matrix, so we can get rid of error here. And said replace with M underscore 2. So matrix M underscore 2. And then we're going to say M underscore two here. And then we're going to copy this guy over here. Put this guy here. And then we're going to do sigmoid. Boom. That is excellent. M underscore, yep. And now we just need to return, return M underscore two. And now we are going to go here and say sigmoid prime. Prime and it says we have a few uh, errors. Let's find those out really quick. Oh, yeah, equals zero, equals zero. And let's see if I did it on this one. I did it on this one too. How embarrassing. And then. Mm -hmm. And then. Why is it really screaming at me, man? Rose. Oh, yes. Yes. In MQL5, for whatever reason, this doesn't autocomplete, and so you can get a little in trouble with that. Um, and then these guys return matrices, so this should be matrix, and then matrix. And then we should be good. Um, let's see.
101. Hmm. Matrix sigmoid. Oh, they are all, all void. Never mind. Sorry. My apologies. They're all void up here. They should be matrix matrices. Matrix. Matrix. There we go. <clears throat> we are all set.